She has become a renowned investor in Wall Street. She manages a $60 billion fund. Please welcome my friend, Ms. Kathy Wood. So, so Kathy, we, we did a Spaces together, which I absolutely loved and my audience loved it. Do you have any advice for the women here? Because you're, you're in a very alpha space in finance. Well, a couple of things. In the space, I've had incredible mentors. Many of them men, some women. Definitely go look for that mentor. I think it's so important for parents to believe in their children, to encourage them, uh, to give them you know, growth opportunities, to find themselves. Yeah. I was the firstborn of Irish immigrants. They always treated me as the firstborn son meaning I could do anything I put my mind to. I had the pleasure of meeting Sabrina and watching Scarlett. You know, they have it. I can tell they have it. So uh, uh, you're doing something right, Elena and, uh, and Grant. Thank you. How does somebody have the courage to invest in something that hadn't happened? How do you do your due diligence? Yes. And then, and then, and then lastly, how do you make a bet and, and sleep well at night. We're very methodical about that. And just to give you a few examples, artificial intelligence costs today are dropping, if you combine hardware and software, 70% per year. And uh, we see robotics costs dropping 50%. We're seeing battery costs down 28% on the same basis. And we're able to tell when costs will be able to fall to low enough levels that the general public will be able to afford them and become very interested and we can scale and, and, and enjoy exponential growth trajectory. You shared with me about what Amazon was doing with robotics, per robots per employees. Uh, today, Amazon has more than 500,000 robots and more than 1.5 million employees, roughly. So their uh, robot penetration per 10,000 people is 3,200. If you look at manufacturing in the United States, that number is only 140. We haven't even begun the movement towards robotics, but we think is going to transform the world completely, and it's going to help us with the massive labor shortages around the world. So what does this do to labor? Like, to me, to me, this is threatens an explosion of unemployment. The history of technologies, it is a net job creator. So the internet in the early 90s, yeah. we were thinking, trying to figure out, okay, what's gonna happen here? We would have never uh, dreamt of Uber and Lyft or Airbnb, but uh -huh. they could not exist without the uh, internet. Right? But we weren't thinking about right. them. They didn't even come along for 15 or 20 years. But what about when they get rid of the Uber driver? So, if we ever get autonomous. And we will. Uh -huh. uh, we're You're much, convinced the autonomous is going to happen. Absolutely convinced. And we are going to consider automobiles weapons of mass destruction about 10 or 20 years from now. 45,000 people die in the United States to, uh, because of auto fatalities. Uh, 80 to 90% of them are because of human error. Uh -huh. Uh, and that number in the world is 1.5 million. So this is going to save lives. Innovation solves problems. Innovation solves problems. If you had $1 million and you had 24 hours, you had to invest it. You can only invest in three stocks. What would those three names be? So Tesla, of course, we believe autonomous taxi platforms uh, are going to scale and create the biggest revenue generating opportunity You think he's gonna get the life. autonomous thing for sure? Absolutely. You see cruise automation as the proof of concept already. That's very interesting to us. Roku, I think, uh, Roku, connected huh? TV. Yes, we have that. So if I had 10 there. TV shows, do you think I should give them to, to Roku? I think you'll find out a lot more about your viewers than you would through linear TV. So absolutely, no question about it. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And the latest one we've published is Exact Sciences. Here we have a chance of discovering cancer in stage one. We believe that with AI, that researchers and ultimately physicians are going to help us discover when a body's cancer is setting up to mutate mm. and cause cancer. That's before we get cancer. We have probably 16 companies, every one of them is profitable. Do I even want to go public? 
you want to go public with companies if you want to scale exponentially. Yeah. You're probably going to need uh, the capital markets. And the other thing that going public does is it increases the probability you'll attract the right talent. It's a big advertisement for, you know, when you go public. Big a promotion. Big, yes. And I like to promote. Yes, you do. <laughs> Has she been great or what? <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Kathy Wood. Come on, give it up.